What's up, y'all? It's the uh, unbearded Bricky back at you again. Um, wanted to uh, show you what uh, BT Engineering has sent me. Uh, they sent me a ton of stuff and uh, just wanted to show you um, and kind of give you a reference of how I think we're going to use this over here in the States. Uh, they are an um, Australian-based uh, engineering company, but they have just, um, I guess you would say, taken off here in the United States. They have a United States group as well. Um, and they sent me some stuff and I just want to share that with you and let you kind of get an idea of what each tool is used for. So um, right here, this right here is a three-way timber clamp. Um, it's for your profile. You're going to put your profile in here and then you're going to take your two pieces of timber or your other poles, whatever it is, and use it to make a tripod. So um, while we use two clamps, they have, they have come out with one singular clamp that replaces uh, the two different clamps. I'm really excited about using this one right here. All right, then right here we have, um, we have the T-clamp, that's called a T-clamp right there. This is the long one, this is for an eight inch block. Um, what it is, is say that you're um, toothing something in, you can stick this in and turn it and then clamp your pole up against your uh, block work. And this will hold your pole and uh, make it so that your profile is straighter. So this is a T-clamp. And this, and this right here, this is a four inch one for brick. So this is another T-clamp for brick work, same thing. When you're toothing work out. All right, this right here is a spike. It is called a spike for internal um, internal corner pole. So what you would do is you would drive this into a hard mortar joint, and then you would clamp your pole to um, up against your inside corner, and then that would just make it where you could run your line without having to set a corner pole or something like that with a, you know, like a tripod. Then we've got, just a regular clamp right here. This is what something that we would normally use to uh, use on our profile uh, tripods. Um, this one right here is an medium internal clamp. You see it right there, medium internal clamp. So same thing, you're gonna knock out a mortar joint, put that part in the mortar joint, and then you're gonna push this up against your pole that's gonna be on your internal corner and it's gonna hold it in place. Um, same thing with this guy right here. Take out a mortar joint and do that. This is an external corner um, clamp. So same thing, you're gonna uh, take out a mortar joint and then put this in the mortar joint and then put your profile um, corner pole right there and clamp it to it. I was actually doing this um, with my clamps and I was really excited about this and wondered where they came from and now I've got a couple of them and I'm excited about using them. Uh, I saw um, Charlie Collison doing that first. I was like, man, that's a good idea. I think he ground his down but now he has some from BT Engineering just like I do. Uh, this is a bigger one. I'm sure that's for probably can work with block work as well. Um, this is a door jam gauge. So this is to run your string line off of on a steel frame door. And uh, that way everything stays straight and you can run it with the door in place. Monster clamp. This right here is for just using the uh, clamp poles and whatnot. And uh, also beating intruders out that come into your house unwanted. That thing is heavy, good gracious. Um, right here, um, we have a sled runner. This is a 5'8 sled runner. Uh, I really like the handle. Um, as you can see, the handle is a little bit different than what we have here in the state, so I'm kind of excited about that. I've got a 5'8 and a 3'8, and then right beside it, you can see where I have a um, brake joiner, which is really cool with the poly wheels. We just this thing feels really durable. Um, the one I've got broke. I've gone through like 10 of them and uh, they break really easy. This thing feels really durable, feels, rolls really easy. And then we've got just a 5 8 
5 8 striking iron, 3 8 striking iron, and then a 5 8 3 8 uh, spoon joiner or another what we call a striking iron over here. Um, right here, this bad boy, gotta take a long shot of that. That is a, um, an overhead clamp. So what I'm gonna use those for is we build our brickwork and then we put a four inch wall in there. Um, so I'm gonna be able to attach this to my brickwork and then clamp my pole to this instead of having to clamp it to my brickwork. So it takes a little bit of stress off the brickwork. Uh, this is a Dean, Dean clamp. It's the exact, does the same thing, I believe, um, from what I saw in the pictures. I can attach this to either my uh, brickwork or my four inch block, clamp it, and then clamp my pole to it. And I can use that to gauge my wall properly. They gave me two of those. Got one there and one there. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna use those for sure on the foundation. All right, now this guy right here, I saw somebody using it. Um, I wanna say, it was Hendo, Hendo bricklaying out of Australia. This goes, this is a corner block that goes on your pole and it can run a line where the line comes here, goes around and then goes in like that way. So instead of having to use two corner blocks or either where it puts stress on your line, you have one corner block, it's called a dory block and that takes care of all of it, dory block. So I'm, they gave me two of those, I'm super stoked on that. And then this right here might be the most badass corner block i've ever seen in my entire life i don't think i'll uh i plan on laying brick until i keel over and i'll probably still have this when i die that thing's awesome and then okay now this right here this is actually the overhead clamp they gave me two of those excited this was something i wanted to talk to you about that i think is really awesome this is actually a profile for wood because over here in the states um, everything's built out of wood um, and we build what we call donkeys but um, or L brackets that right there is where you screw or nail into the studs on the sheathing you see that right there and then this piece goes on it and you can gauge your profile to make your corner pole plumb and exactly how you want it so that right there is something that we don't really have in the States that I'm excited to use when we brick a house um, because that replaces what we build out of wood. And man, it's just really, really, really sturdy. And then the last thing that I got is a cavity cleaner with a quick attach. Uh, probably will never use this except for, uh, I'm gonna probably get a quick attach from my garden hose and use it on that. But this thing right here is awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure that the power coming out of it is uh, probably gonna be about as hard as you can get out of a hose next to a pressure washer. But I mean, here's the loot guys. I mean, BT Engineering just like hooked it up and I'm really stoked on using this stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna take pictures. I might not take videos of everything, um, but I'm gonna take pictures of the instances that I use this on the profile I get ready to do. Um, I'll be using, like I said, I've been really excited about these. I'm going to be using those uh, tomorrow. Um, and then these right here, um, the guy that works with me, Jack, um, we have brick tongs, but our brick tongs generally carry about 10 to 11. And from what I understand, these carry 6 to 7. So uh, I'm going to show him those. And he's always whining about how we carry too many brick, but he's going to have a smaller one now. So we're going to nickname these the jack tongs the little jack tongs and i'm gonna put those in his hand tomorrow and see how he likes those but uh, again thank you to uh, bt engineering for your more than generous um loot and uh, this is my unboxing uh it's the unbearded bricky for right now back at you hope everybody has a great day um look out for the uh, two minute tommy video is going to have those coming out really short clippets of uh brickwork fundamentals that might help you out but uh everybody have a great evening and uh, we'll see you on the other side